you know, like your friend, you know, calls it sloth and torpor and, you know, classically that's known as a hindrance. Um, I think it's important to also just remind ourselves that just because there's a hindrance doesn't mean that it's bad or wrong. Right. Sometimes right. when I think of like a hindrance, I think of it as something to like fix or overcome or something. And instead of like actually bringing mindfulness to that experience of what's hindering us. And so, you know, uh, you know, like when I was a monastic, I would get up at like 3.30 in the morning and, you know, meditate all day and go to bed late and, you know, on a hardwood floor with no pillow. And, you know, you don't get the greatest sleep that way. <laughs> and I was exhausted, but over time, you know, and there are plenty of meditations where I would just pass out. <laughs> I just, you know, was, we we're like, you know, in, like four in the morning like most of us would be sitting in a group in the dark together just nodding off like you know kind of catching ourselves and catching ourselves and every once in a while one of us would fall over on the hardwood floor and bump our heads and then we would laugh at them and then we would do it ourselves and they would laugh at us and, uh <laughs> Um, but over time, like, it was just kind of normal, like, we would practice while being sleepy. And, and we wouldn't judge it as being bad or wrong. It was just normal. Oh, yeah, I'm meditating and I'm sleepy. And, you know, it happens all the time. And sometimes that sleepiness can actually almost help us in, in terms of adding the sense of tranquility to our practice where we're actually less all over the place and more just kind of slow and steady and tranquil. And yeah, I can actually sense into something for longer periods of time you know, so that lack of energy can actually be useful sometimes to aid our concentration or um, can often bring a sense of peace or stillness. Um, I mean, it's not exactly the most balanced thing ever, but there are some like nice side effects of it. Um, but if we welcome the sleepiness and just kind of sense into it without resistance, without judgment, that can be really helpful um, uh, for us to kind of stay with it for longer periods of time. Because if we judge it with any, if we judge the resistance <laughs> or if we resist the resistance, then so I'm like, I, I don't want to fight that. Like, I'm going to do something else. Like, subconsciously, it's like, there's a kind of a fight going on. Like, I'm resisting the resistance. And now it's like a thing that I just rather not deal with. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's familiar. <laughs> and so if we just welcome the sloth and torpor for what it is, you know, without assuming that there's something deeper that's plotting its resistance against us we can just take it one step at a time like okay sloth and torpor's here i'll just be with that investigate it and see if there is something below that's maybe a little afraid of being seen you know and can i meet that with care care or courage or inquiry. We provide you with the certification and the credentials you need to teach mindfulness in professional settings. I invite you to check out our uh, webpage at teach.mindfulnessexercises.com to learn more about the program and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the inside.